Ora, 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 Ora,
Lubisha. Imani mahumu kisha. Hezuru ya babi. Aha, 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 aha.
Yes, Praise Amen. the Lord. May we praise our Lord because we be glorify. May we clap to the Lord. Let's clap to the Lord. Please, as I say, we clap to the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's of great pressure to see people around, yet it's raining. People who managed to be here today, may the Lord bless you abundantly. We give you a warm welcome in the, in the house of God. Because you managed to be here today, may God bless you. Facebook, YouTube, and people who are following us on different platforms, we wish you a warm welcome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's pray as we thank God that we reached here safely. And we, make, we, we praise God that he be with us today. And I'll ask Azaf to stay with us. Good God. We proclaim that you are higher. And your word says that the heaven is your chair. And that the earth is the chair of your feet. And everything which is in this world is yours as you made the heaven and earth. You are a God of power and we are here to God for you. And we thank you that you made us get here safely. And we are sanctified as in your blood. Let your Holy Spirit stay with us. And lead us in all the organizations which are taking place here. Here. And we are giving you a hand. And, hand. and proclaiming that you are higher in the name of Jesus. Yes. Hesuru yibisima yaba manaika hesuru yaba kome hesuru yibisima yaba manaika hariyo imani kome hesuru yabja sa hesuru yaba minga tena watware hesuru yaba kome hesuru hesuru yibisima yaba manaika hariyo.
Azaf murakoze cyane. Thank you Azaf. Mushora kuruka mwangire mu bakomera amashyi barabikwire. Please give a hand clap to Azaf. Twongeye kubakira mu izina rya Yesu. We wish you a warm welcome in the name of Jesus. Kuri uyu munsi w'umugisha. Of today of a blessing. Ntimutahe mu dutahe umugisha wanyu. Don't go home without having your blessing. Rwose mushatse mu kwicara. You may take your seats, please. Let's welcome people who are following us online. And people who came a little bit late, we wish you a warm welcome. And if there is a guest in among us, please raise your hand. Please stand up so that we can see you. May God bless you. Yes, I will give you a good one. You might stand. We love guests and we are at Zan Temple. We love guests and we are at Zan Temple. The house of God. Zan Temple came from an authentic word. We work and work in it. We it is in that case that we are telling you welcome and we ask people who are sitting beside you to give you a hug. And if you have another place you gather, please say hello to them. And if there is no place you gather, please stay with us and we warm welcome in the house of God. We are in a special month. In a special month. Which has a theme which is called We Are in New System. And the purpose of this new month is to replace the old work with new works. And our weekly topic is Look, God is making everything new. I told you this before so that we can go step by step together. But let us take a bit of time and we pray. As we start by praying for our church. And praying for our senior pastor. Apostle Dr. Paul Gitwaza. And his family. And even his larger more family. And we pray for the different pastors and different departments in this Zion Temple. Let's pray. Holy Father, God who is able, we praise you because you give us a good church. You gave us a good leader. A leader who is in your communion. Who respect you and work for you. And lead us so that we can work for your kingdom. God, you see the work that you gave him. We show you the huge work that he has in this world. Asking you that you empower him, Father. Empower him spiritually. Empower him physically. So that you even empower him in tangible things so that your work will go well. We show you his house. His, his wife. His children, Elise, Elise, Luke and David. Luke and David. What we are asking for you may they be on them. The name of Jesus. We are protecting them with your broad God. We are showing you and whoever is working you, everywhere in this world. Asking you to empower them. 
Cyane cyane duha umutima wo kumvira. And I give us a heart that listens. Kugira ngo dukore ibyo dutuma. So that we can do what he sends us to do. Because you are the one who asked him to. Kubishuti zawe mwami Yesu. And please to be help us to be your friends. Kujambo rya riratubwira ngo because your word says you are my friend may you do what I command you to do we thank you God because you've heard our prayer giving you a hand over crapping we pray it in the name of Jesus Amen, Amen. Hallelujah 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 there is so many things to pray for. Let's receive the promise of God. Every day we have a promise of our day. We have a promise of God from God that he sends through his servant. Kabin, please help us. Kwa kabiri, ukwez kwa kabiri, makumyabiri nume. Makumyabiri, makumyabiri na gata. Winu musi wa mirongu itano nibiri umaka. Murikumwe na aposo Dr. Paul Ogitkwazi. Iseza na nuri umusi. Wisu bireho. Ukwari shinga nozo mundu wima. Izo nizi. Utanga maturo ya weneza. Utangu muga anura. Wishure ichachu michao. Nanje nzakuri indugorufu ninyati numufu. Imana ilakubi ila ilu gomba kukona. Eka tulayo mumigani ibiche mitatu ichenda kugeza kuichu. Uwa hishu iteka ubutu unzibugawe. Numuga nura uibza ungu kabzosi. Nibuibige kabzawe bizu uzuzwa. Kandi mifure yawe iza senderi mitobe. Amen. Umbangubi ya mwene data. Eka kusuzugu ibi inu. Chango se kufati ibi inu nga ho mitakurewa. Isubireho kukira ungima na nayo igomorole imigisha ya gusezra nyishu. Kori shinga noza yungu mundu wima. Tanga maturo ya weneza. Umuganura wawo utange. Ishuri chachumi. Hanyumurebe kuri nguwa ni imana. Ugorufu. Iyo aksida. Iyo nyati. Uomufumu. Uwele yumusi. Bifuwe kubuzi mabgao. Ariko. Na ukore ibzi imani kusabze. Yabi kusabze. Na we obzuba hirisi. Ubaishu ite kubutu mzibgao. Ubaishu ite kumuganura wawo. Utangi turo rjao. Wishu ichachu micha, ibige gabzawe bizuzuzwa, dete ni mivuri ya wisende ere, imitowe. Uloko ze data kumugaruri ye, ibuza satani ere ya mngambu ye, ukuye hurufu ni nyatinu mufumo, muhayu buzima nu mugisha mwizi na Jesu Kristo, mungami wachu, amen. Mwaji kwa Yesu. Ahana krap to God. Mwuri kabine, nivara matangazono yomu ya tunyuriza hufu wa hufu wa. If there is more announcement, please, Nkab, can you help us? Shalom, Bene Data. Imani shimne kwa yabanyi na atuke mchumwe rujishize. Kandi tulize rako mngaji zibi hebjiza hamweni miliangwa yaanyu. Kandi buri wesa kawera wa shisha kuiba jirugibja chera. Aka chiribisha mwuzi mawgi. Departema ya makupre ya bateguriye umugoro vuda sanzwe vise couple self space. Aho bahura waka gandi rabji maze yo. Kandi ibibjo sewege korugwa mumuhezu. Nitariche ama kumnyavili na kanezu kwa kabili. Guhera kuisa kumini mge kujeza kuisa ambili zijoro. Hano kuliza unitempo ngoma. Tuzaba turi kumge na kupe ya pasta didie habimana. Pasta lutunda numufashawe. Ndete na pasta elike ndize ye numufashawe. Tuza wifashkwa mwakandi na kuple ya Hervé, ndete na isimbi. Awa shaka nye mwese ni muze tu gani ili nimbele yi mana. Bijo se ila vihindura visha. Bijo mngi hariko, murugwe gurugugu sani hema rija Dawidi mungo za achu. Azafu Music International, iko meje gushira hanze albumu za awu. Ika wakuru uwe ya shize hanze albumu ya awu ya gata tu, yitukwa Inter His Gate. Ika wivone yeho kubatula ni indiri mbo yichu mngeru, aliyo Inter His Gate. Munga isanga kumbu gangu na nyembaga zitandu kanyi, harimo Spotify, Audiomark, Deezer, YouTube, Instagram, Jose kumazina ya Azaf Music International.
ubuyobozi bw'itorero buributsa abakristo bose ku isaha yo kujya ku izamu rya barinzi ku nkike muri paruwasi ya Gatenga ari buri munsi ku isaha isaha tuza mu gitondo kugera ku isaha ine za mu gitondo link ya free conference ibi bafashamo muzajya muyibona kuri WhatsApp z'imiryango turabivuza kandi ko amateraniro ya matsinda mato atera na kuwa gatatu kuva sa 12 zo mugoroba tuboreye ho gusaba buri wese kuzajya yitabira kubindi bisobanuro wabaza umuyobozi witsindu barizwamo cyangwa se umuyobozi umuryango tuboneyeho kubifuriza icyumweru kiza aho tuzaba dufite insanganya matiko igira iti dore uwiteka byose abihinduye bishya insanganya matiko turayisanga mu byanditswe bikurikira ibyahishuwe igice cya 21 umurongo wa gatanu ndetse na Yesaya mirongo ine na kabiri umurongo wa cyenda Imana ibaho umugisha Shalom May God bless you Please give a hand of clap to God Hamwe umushinga rimwe Together with those announcements, let's remind you about One Stone Project. It's a project for the whole church. Here in Rwanda, we are requested to give 1,000 per month. If you can be able to give it per one term, it's good. Changwa meza tatu chari mge ane ukubish ukusho bojwe. Three months or th four months really. Umwa kuchazara njira waru kuije vivumbe chumi la bibi. So that the, the end of year you can make it to twelve thousand of. Abati yamu mahanga. People who live abroad in Europe. Wawa sabuga gutanga madura richumi changwa ma richumi. They are requested to give ten US dollar. Ba kuleje the word remit. Using word remit. Ariku nomera na yofite hano muni hanga nire. Okay, by Ayanga, you need no more Yanga Hamur Gwanda Kubatanga Bumbi Chumi. This is the Momo code, Momo for, code. Pe for people in Rwanda. Irang is going to zero Gata two Kabiri, you could be curriculum as zero tattoo. Zero three two thousand hashtag Kubatanga, a young Hunga, everybody Mumahanga, her own number at telephone, Munakore Shakuru would remit. For people who are going to be Donating, they are going to be using a number which is going to be provided. It's going, uh, maybe Kabin doesn't have it. Now. We are going to make sure next time it's going to be available. Do it with a happy heart. Because do it with a happy heart because the project is ours. We are praying for you for the future projects. You've seen different projects. They have shown you different projects that our church has and it's your own project, so please keep Bene it with that. your heart. Please let's give a might hand clap to God because of the project of One Stone. Let's feel that it's ours and do it with our God is going to bless you because you bless its own work. We've reached another moment to praise God with what he's given us. Praying, paying our offerings and tithes. Let me ask Joseph to come back and help us. Amaturo turayatanga biciye kuri Momo Pay. We are going to be paying our offering through Momo Pay. The number ngiye muri abona kuri screen. The number is on the screen. Ijana igakanyenyeri jana 182 akanyenyeri. Umunani akanyenyeri rimwe akanyenyeri. 0380890 bikurikiwe n'urwego. Star 182, star 8, star 1, star 0, 3, 7, 0, 8, 0, hashtag. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For people who came with cash, we are going to see the ashes passing through so that we can pay our offering happily. 
so that we may get blessing from God. Let's pray for the offerings. God, we thank you because you enabled us to be here and give us what to offer you. you. We praise you because of your children who are going to pay their offerings. Praying for people who won't be able so that next time they won't be going to be able so that we may hold each other's hands to build your own work. Please bless us together. May your blood cover the offering we are giving so that it might and be something And may the glory be yours. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen.
Mwami Yesu turagushimiye kugira neza kwawe. Lord Jesus we thank you for your goodness. Turagushimiye kubwo uyu munsi mwiza waturemeye ngo tubishimire mo tunezererwemo. And we thank you for this good day that you have created for us to rejoice and be glad in it. Turagushimira kwa duhaye uyu munsi mwiza. Thanking you for giving us such a good day. Muri uyu munsi ukawuduheramo impano y'ubuzima. And this day you have given us the gift of life. Turagushimira ko duhumeye ku mwuka abazima. We are thanking you for we are still breathing alive. Bibira vanga abazima. The Bible says the one who are alive are the one to praise you. Those who are alive are the ones to praise you. So when we are given the gift of God, that is an opportunity to praise you. When we are given life, that is an opportunity to thank you. And then we talk about your good work. And we talk about your banner. And we talk about your love. And we talk about your love. And we talk about your holiness. And about your righteousness. Because you are a good God. And the Bible continues to say. That those who are dead cannot praise him. Or those who are going down the pit. Those who are dead, they cannot praise him. But we who are alive, we have the ability to praise him. And that's why we are here in your sanctuary. We have come to hear your word. That's why we are here in sanctuary. And we have come for you to touch us. And we are here in your house. And Father God, you can make everything new. That you can make everything new, my God. Starting from us, Lord, make us new. From us, Lord, make us new. What is surrounding us, my God, make it new. Because you are able to do that, my God. Because you are able to do that, my God. Because you are able to do that, my God. Because you are able to do that, my God. Because you are able to do that, my God. Because you are able to do that, my God. Because you are able to do that, my God. Because you are able to do that, my God. Because you are able to do that, my God. Because you are able to do that, my God. Because you are able to do that, my God. Because you are able to do that, my God. Because you are able to do that, my God. Because you are able to do that, my God. Because you are able to do that, my God. Because you are able to do that, my God. Because you are able to do that, my God. Because you are able to do that, my God. Because you are able to do that, my God. Because you are able to do that, my God. Because you are able to do that, my God. Because you are able to do that, my God. Because you are able to do that, my God. That what you have purpose forever. And that this week, my God, we size what you have kept us in the in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. All seasons and seasons. Transformation to be. The seasons are your own story. In a time like this, that is what you have kept for us. And in a day like this, God, that is what you have kept for us. That is what you have kept for us. And in an evening like this, God, that is what you have kept for us. For us, we pray, my good God. Let your faith and hope be strong. Let your hands of faith 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 be strong. As in the day that you come, as in the day that you come, as in the day that you come, as in the day that you come. And the hands of faith, my God. They change us to be new people. And the hands of faith, my God. 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 And the hands of faith, my and we give you the honor today and forevermore. We thank you, God. And we give you the honor, Lord. For you are forever and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. May the Lord God bless you so and much. May He do good to you. Amen. You may sit in the presence of God. Are you well, Church of God? Are you well? Who told you that in the church they don't respond to greetings? How are you? Amen. Amen. We are thanking God for having this opportunity to come into his house. To come and hear his word.
ikirere cyari cyagoranye bamwe batinye kuza cyangwa byabagoye the weather was not good so others could not make it here or it was hard for them to get here ariko mwebwe cyangwa twe twagize amahirwe tubasha kugera hanga hama aho turabishimira imana but you and also us we are able to be here in the house of god ariko none suko nawe utahuye nibya kuvuzaga kuza now because you didn't have any hindrance that would not hinder you to come here ariko nuko intego yawe wabashije kwirwanirira but because you fought hard for this goal and you have achieved it. May the Lord God bless you for that. I'm also thanking God for giving, being given this opportunity again to share with you the word in the house of God. We are giving thanks for our parent, Dr. Poso Paul Gitwaza who has given us this good time to share with you. May God bless him. If that's what I can say or is enough to say. But we are thanking you so much. Together with the leadership of the church and the church at large. Amen. 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 As they just said it, we have a very good theme for this week. Yes, normally all are good. Telling us that God is making everything new. And we are still in the month of the new system. And then we come to the week of whereby everything is going to be made new. And we are in the year of replacement. When things are replacing each other. Seasons replacing seasons. And even people replacing other people. And people will have to shift for others to come in. So let me tell you this before it becomes an announcement to us. For those who are concerned or for those <laughs> things which are concerned, it is an instruction to them. So what is supposed to be replaced in your life has already had the announcement. To us is an announcement, but to them it is an instruction. Let me repeat it, that to us is an announcement, but to them it is, a lip, it is an instruction. Yes, you may overlook the announcement, and there is no one who is going to follow you up, but then you cannot overlook an instruction when it has been disdained for you. And that's why nations have people in charge to order is monitor those who are putting in practice the instructions. And even in heaven, we have rib there. That there is in charge to see those who are being called upon if they have come and those who have been given instruction if they are putting it in practice. Because leadership originates from God. It doesn't come from down to upward. So we do not inspire God. But then we get our inspiration from God. And leaders get their inspiration from God. There are some of the good things done here in the world but coming from heaven. So when God is giving out instructions, he follows up the instructions. So there are some of the things that have been given instructions. And there are those people given instructions to get away of them, to go away from others. There is a kind of life given an instruction that it should shift another one come there are days which have been given instructions for them to shit and give others that way. Why is it called a year of replacement? 
It's because in that year, new things are prepared. New things are expected. New things. And remember in the nature of God, before he brings in something, then he must take care where he is going to put it. So in the nature of God, he has to first prepare where the new thing should be put. And that's why the Garden of Eden was created before man. Because the place where man could occupy should have been prepared before. So the new things God is talking about. I'm telling you its position has been prepared. A new place for the new things in your life has been already prepared. Confidence. That's why God has much confidence in announcing the new things that are coming. And the replacement of the new things. So last week, the servants of God who were teaching us, they had a good word which has a relationship with the world of today. God was saying, I am creating something new and the way it is coming forth, we shall not go about it. In other words, it's coming abrupt that we can never track and God does this in his own will. At times you come in surprise and then tell us others will just come in in other words, he will take the normal things and and these are going to be changed into and they become new. Yes, they are the normal things you've been having in your life. But then are given new life. They are given another nature. Because in this year of replacement, you will not replace your husband, right? You will not replace your wife, right? But then your wife can be changed or your, ma your husband can be changed. So never, never mistake this. And you said they told us to replace. Oh yeah. No, that's not right. There are those things which are irreplaceable. Chakora. But. But which are also made new. And then they are given new life. Sometimes you may hear about a theme and say, How, oh God, you're going to change something for me? Oh, yeah, no, this is your normal man. Your normal <laughs> there is no way you're escaping him or her. There is a person they told me about, they found themselves very short. No, no, so they started this campaign of telling her that at least two centimeters to be Because whenever they put on their high heels, then it would at least come a bit taller. <laughs> And when they would measure what has been there on their shoe, it would be about two or three. So, he said, God, you know what? I'm not asking for kilometers, just two centimeters. If, if the wise man in this world can put on the how come you the creator, how can no, you not give me two centimeters on my heart? So I don't know how this campaign ended. I think God is still examining his request. There are times when God will give you just a calm heart and you think the two centimeters are there. There are some people always they are fighting to reduce things which cannot be reduced. But be comforted because God is able to make it new. Yes, ashimwe. Praise the Lord Jesus. Tuli mu gitabo cy'ibyahishuwe 2021. We are reading from the book of Revelation chapter 21. Ku murongo waho wa gatanu. Verses 5. Bibiliya iratubwira ngo iyicara kuri ya ntebe iravuga iti 
The Bible says, then he who sat on the throne said, then he who sat on the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said to me, Right, for these words are true and faithful. Yesaya The book of prophet Isaiah 42 verses 9. Isaiah chapter 42 verse 9. Behold, the former things have come to pass. And the new things I declare. Before they spring forth, I tell them you of them. Let me start from the verse 8. That you may hear who is speaking and you should not mistake it to be me. I am the Lord, that is my name. And my glory, I will not give it to another. Nor my praise to carved images. Behold, the former things have come to pass. And the new things I declare. So the former things have come to pass. And the new things I declare. I am the Lord. Normally when God is about to say something important, he first have to say himself in his own name. That what follows, you get to know how to receive it. Because in the nature of man, we always have that. So when God is speaking to man, he knows you very well. In God's speech, is like he's preparing man. He's saying, I am the Lord. And my honor, I never give it to anyone else. And even my praise will never shift to another person. So the former things have come to pass. And I, the new things I declare, I tell them to you before the spring. So another scripture he says, that the one who sits on the throne, he says this, that behold, I'll make everything new. The one who sits on the throne. A throne which is never shared by anyone else. A throne to which the angel cannot mistake to sit on it. The throne to which God establishes all his plans. The, the throne to which God will create new days. Imana, inebe, imana. So the throne of God. If we of which he speaks with the seasons. Inebe, imana, the throne to which God. He will change direction and the past of a person. So the one who sits on the throne. The throne which is never shared by anyone. At the throne of honor. The, the throne of God. The shows and manifests the power of God. That reveals the authority of God. That reveals the kingdom of God. And now once you have a chance. Like in a vision you find yourself before the throne. Then you get to know which level you are. This throne that is surrounded by the cherubims. The throne to which no one else, just nobody can just come. On that throne there is coming a word. A word is like a promise. Yet it is a statement from the kingdom. That is talking about changing. Changing everything. To be new. Everything to be new. 
hari ibintu usazanye imana yaguhindurira there are things you're growing old with that God Hari can change. Imana ya there are things you've stayed long with that God can change. Hara hanu, imana ya there is a position you're standing God can change. Hari bihe, bimisi, imana ya there are times and seasons you spent long time in Hari God ubuzima, can change. Imana ya there is a kind of life you're taking much time in God can change. Hari zina, kanye, mubanu, imana ya there is a name that has been known to people that God God can change. So he's saying everything to be to be new. Praise the Lord God. Yes. Everything. Everything to be new. Ndimonda kwa amahirwe yo kubitekereza. So I'm giving you this opportunity to think at Yes. Guhindurwa kubabisha. All things to be made new. Yes, ashimwe. Praise the Lord Jesus. Yesu nashimwe. Praise the Lord Jesus. Igitabo kibyahishuwe. This book of Revelation. Ni igitabo gisa nk'ikigoranye mo gato. It's a book that seems to be hard or difficult. Kubara ko kirimo ubuhanuzi ariko bujimije. Because it has a still prophecy that is still a mystery to many. And even the one who named it called it the revelation. So there are things being revealed out of the hidden things. There are those hidden in the mysteries of God. And there are those hidden in the signs and miracles of God. So once you read this book of Revelation. You find that also hard times here. Because it tells us how seasons and times are. And also tells us the evil and bad days how they are. And also tells us the end of the times. How things are going to be done in the end. Because there are times people are in a confusion. When things are not only hidden in life, but also hidden in righteousness. Where a man does not know how this world is going to end. But still this book of revelation is a kind of book that gives hope to the church. Because it shows how the end of the church. It shows the end of your prayers. It shows the battles we are fighting its end. Yes, it tells us the wickedness of the devil. And also tell us the time the enemy is going to be working. Because all the works of the enemy are numbered in time. All the works of the enemy are numbered in times. So time is something important in the devil's kingdom. All things he programs them in times and seasons. All times are prepared in, 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 in time. So he knows how to work very well in time. But then he knows how to steal time. So when you miss three hours a day, the devil is stealing up your tomorrow. Because he knows that the day has a relationship with the future. He does not attack you with the sorceries. But then he will just make you delay. And then you feel you've lost nothing. But then in the end, you find when you no longer have any time. So once you lose four hours in a day, and then the time you sleep, and they'll become like a 10 plus hours. And the day has only 24 hours. And you find your day of your productivity are very low. Yet the devil knows you're not going to achieve anything in the few hours you have. So the more time passes, the wise will just bring in some productivity and also the unwise will lose and the spiritual people will receive and those who are just murmuring they will lose 
Satan. So the devil. The first thing he knows how to steal. Is time. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs that teach us how to number our days in a time that we shall be having a heart of wisdom. So this book of Revelation tells us about times and he speaks it in the very number time. He tells us about a thousand years Yes, when Jesus is ruling here in the world and also tells us about a thousand years when the devil is born so according to the numbers of the devil so he's taking up his time and then minus the time he'll be burned and minus the time he'll be burned and then he'll see the time he's remaining with and now he programs himself according to the time that he has and then he plans according to the very limited time he has. And that's, and that's why the prophet told the king of Assyria he said go and prepare Ahab and prepare yourself for the next time at this time the king of Assyria is going to attack you again. So it had already gone into the plans of the devil. Yet yeah, the devil had been just defeated. But the time he was defeated is the exact time he's giving another appointment. So the time he was defeated is the exact time he was arranging another attack. The time you have defeated him is the time he has prepared another attack of the people. So church of God, do not be distracted. Do not be distracted. So do not lose time. So I'm going to tell you about what time does. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. So in the primary language of the Greeks, they call the coin Greek. There are two words in this word that explains something new. As new. Yes. Is new? The word new in coin Greek. In coin Greek. In the ancient language of the Greeks or of the Bible. There are these two words involved. Avuga ijisha. That talk about something new. Avuga new. And talk about something new. Neos. The first one talks about neos. Ngo new in time. Meaning new in time. Bishasha <laughs> And the second word. Ngo ni kainos. He said it kairos. Ngo new in nature. Bifuzengo ni bishasha muri kamere. Ariko hazamo implication yu but when it comes in an implication of beauty and glory. So coming to being new but closer to glory. Putting, to be turned into new but yet through upgraded in glory or in beauty. If I could say. So all these words. Yes, they will bring something which is not ordinary. Unfamiliar. Which is unfamiliar. Even something which was not expected. Yet good. But. It was only different. Or that one. Which is neos. It is attached to time. And another one is attached to the nature. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Praise the Lord Jesus. Yes, Praise the Lord Jesus. So now the Bible is saying that the one who sits on the throne he said that behold I make all things new. Yes, it could be new in time. Or new in nature. Praise the Lord God. It may be new in time. Because. 
There are things which are changed by time. There are people changed by time. You wait and be patient for somebody. And when the times come, they will see that they will not keep on fighting you. So do not fight all kind of battles you encounter. There are battles to be completed by the times. They are not just done with the words you repeat to them. So don't fight all battles. There are some which you keep silent. And you just leave them for the time. And you just despise them for the time. And you say, I know very well that there is no that there is no fish which cannot spend an hour above the water. So now since you're not in the water, <laughs> time will come and I know you're going to be dead. Praise the Lord God. So take the devil in prayer. He will not resist the fire of God. Take the devil in fasting. And then he will get tired of you. So be in time of prayer. And those who are just choosing you and showing you them. Just keep in prayer. And also dwell in prayer. And time. You will reveal. How you're going to complete this I'm journey? I'm talking about victory in time. I'm talking about residue in time. I'm talking about the reverence in time. To be creation a new world and a new heaven. Let me tell you. In the book of Genesis and Revelation, it is divided into times. And each and every time. It has its new working system different from the other. So in from the time of innocence, from the time of Adam, and the time he sinned against God, and he was let out of Eden, it was a time of innocence. It has its working system. It has its It has its working system. And from the time they were taken out of Eden until the time of the flood it was the time of conscience yes, Praise the Lord God yes, Praise the Lord Jesus So because man has already tried to work so with so Eden, They are coming out of Eden now they are using time to, to work hard and get what they have to but get but then in Eden, there was no fighting for Just life. Again, Everything was prepared. So when the times changed, also the workings changed, and life became new. Everything became now new. Now man started how to fight for life. How to sweat and to survive. And now even a woman starts having labor pains when she Because the time has also instructed the way of living. Praise the Lord God. Praise the Lord God. And from that time on and to the time the Israelites they came out of the land of Egypt. And there came the time of the, the, the rule of man. So the times kept on changing. Until the time we are in today. That is called the time of grace. Because Jesus has paid the price. The price of blood. To receive salvation. It is so easy for you. Yes, Praise the Lord Jesus. Because Jesus has shed his own blood. But then this time too. It's like he's coming to an end. He's attached to the preliminary prosecution time. The preliminary prosecution time. It is attached to this time of grace. And that's why even now. To eat some places in the world. There are, there are places where the church is being tortured. Or persecuted. But truly. It's not the real persecution the Bible is talking about. In the book of Revelation. There will be seven years. The times of persecution. Whereby Antichrist will be working in broad daylight. And that time of the Antichrist. 
Christ. It will be when the church has been erupted. Because the Lord Jesus has taken away from the anchor of this world. Heaven will just make us shift. Heaven will just make us escape the pain. Today we are believing in the blood of Jesus. And then we are saved. So after the church has erupted and the time of persecution starts there is no blood of Jesus that will be at work at that time. But who will be redeemed by their own blood? The ones who are preached to and they could not really read comprehend. They will just be saved by the sword. They will be just be saved by the sword. And they will be redeemed by their own blood. Actually, in fact, this is what shows the time that is to follow this one. This is what it means by man. This shows the time exactly we are in. It is the time man is called so. It is not great that takes us into sin. It is grace according to the time that is to come. Because in the time to come you will be paying your own bill to be saved. You will be paying the bill of your own blood. Because you could not, pay the, you could not buy the bill of Jesus. So that time to. It also create new times to those who will be still living. There will be great afflictions and pain. But then that time it will be followed by another time of the millennium of the a thousand years say a thousand years when the Lord Jesus will be reigning as a king. He will be our king. And then he will rule over us and he will lead us and will believe his followers will be lead us with love to lead us with mercy and then that time the devil will be tied up and that time the devil will be in prison and he will be tied up for a thousand years and you have that kind of news with you and you're sitting that we're sitting with that information and he's just watching on his clock so church of God the time is keeping a lot of secrets church of God the times are keeping our residence church of God the times are keeping good news for us a thousand years living good life when we are rejoicing with God and those who are being born in that time they are they will also still have the nature of man that has sin within Let me tell you, evangelism will not stop in that time. No. We shall be preaching about Jesus. And the people shall be still having an opportunity. Most especially those being born in that time. For them to have enlightened that nature. So what shows the wickedness in the nature of man is the way you're going to resist times. So this time when it is complete, they will take the devil out of prison and now he'll be given the right again so for him to tempt the saints. So he will be having a lot of armies and those Emma that will be the, the, the battle of Amagok. But once they come closer to the council, fire will come from heaven and burn them. And also send them into the fire of fire. And then that time, there will be judgment of the time. And then we shall be entering into eternity. Where is that kept? In time. This is where the Bible says that I'll create a new world. I'll create a new heaven and a new world. That is in the book of Revelation. So be comforted. There is a help that is kept for you. Church of God, be comforted. Be comforted. 
It is time. Chisa twinjiza. Time will usher us. Mujugu kitaba mamarira. In the nation where there are no tears. Ijihe. Time. Chisa twinjiza. It will usher us. Mujugu kitaba mufubi. In the land where there are no orphans. Ndabizu mubutumwa. I know this kind of Hamba mujishishika jabantu. Is no longer making people eat. Kwera ko abantu batangiye komatana nisi. Because people are being so attached to the world. Kana mwaka kutangira. And also the next year. Himanya mbye ngo nzavuga ubutumwa buvuga ibye and when the young was starting God said preach heavenly gospel but I never knew I would be teaching here I will not tell you the reason he gave me but let me tell you just one it's because the one to have it the, the one it's because the harvester is one who is in their own vine. When the time comes to harvest, when your life is so attached to the world, then it will be covered by the flood. So put back your eyes to the Lord. Remember the, the, the end time. And then miss the land in heaven. In that time we shall not be fearing death anymore. We shall be knowing what is coming after death. The reason why we are so scared, scared of death is because death will take us out of our jobs and take you out of your salary. And even when you die, you're not scared of the sins that you have. But then you are thinking about your houses and property. Oh, they are taking all my houses. Yes, let them take your oh, houses. Because you're so attached to things. And you never look <laughs> upon heaven. <laughs> oh, praise the Lord <laughs> Jesus. Just miss heaven. <laughs> that is your dwelling place. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, Hashim. Praise the Lord Jesus. Yes, Hashim. Praise the Lord Jesus. Yes, Hashim. Praise the Lord Jesus. So there are things God is going to change with time. Praise the Lord Jesus. There are things that God is going to change with time. Because he is the king of time. If God is saying all things are made new. So what tools is he going to use? First is time. God is going to change your time. God is going to change your time. God wants to change your time. Because the times have ruled your way. They have created thirstiness in you. The times have created grief in you. God will not change your grief. He's going to change the time. And then grief will get to know that, that this time is over in your life. So when God has changed time, all things that are in that period, they just have to change around with the time. All the things that are in that period, the hunger in that period, the hunger in that period, it will just stand and as how the times are changing. So the more God changes, so the more the lifestyle is changing. So there is a kind of lifestyle that is so much connected to time. And there is a kind of life that is so much connected on a time. Praise the Lord God. So God will change the times in the book of Daniel chapter 2 Verse 21. The Bible says that he is the one who changes time. He changes the times and seasons and removes kings. He removes kings and raises up kings. And he gives wisdom to the wise. And knowledge to those who have understanding. So which men There are things that are changed with time And the time The child will create new, uh, new And they will create new relations so there are times when God is going to bring new life Based on how he has changed the time 
Wana sifiwe. Praise the Lord Jesus. Harimi nduka. So there is a change. Zaza nweni bihe. That have brought up by were brought up Kani by time. Kani harimi nduka. And also there are changes. Zaza nweni bihe. That are going to be brought up by time. Muri neos. So in neos. Muri neos. In neos. New in time. The things which means the new in time. Imani avuga ga imi nduka ije ndana nibish. God was talking about changes or transformation according to time. Wana sifiwe. Praise the Lord Jesus. Imi nduka ije ndana nibish. Changes or transformation according to time. Harimi nduka ije ndana nibish. There are transformations according to the times and seasons. Imani kuhindu ribe torero. May the Lord God change your times and seasons. Imani kuhindu ribe. May the Lord God change your times. Imani kuhindu ribe. May the Lord God change your times. Imani kuhindu ribe. May the Lord God change. Imani kuhindu ribe. May the Lord God change. That in the time of acceptance I came for your help. So there is a residue that is kept somewhere else. Time is a, a, a keeping store of God. May God change your time. May God take you from the times of being thirsty. From the time of being lonely. From the time of being hard and grieving. From the time of lamenting. From the time of complaints and quarrels. May God change them. May God change them. He spoke to Joseph and gave him a great promise. But the more he went into another time, he would encounter challenges. And he would enter into another time and also encounter another sword. He would enter another time he would also encounter a pit. He would enter another time he would encounter the wife of Potiphar and also goes into another time you would encounter prison. He came out of another time and he found himself in the palace. So the more the times replaced another one, you're still in the way of their promises. The more the times change on you, the more the calamities come upon you, it is a sign that you are moving. So all the time, you see that you are fighting one problem in life get to know that you are stagnant in one place because the more the time moves so the more challenges change so do not fear the way they replace each other it is a sign you are moving you are coming from one position to another because the more it comes to morning the more the night becomes darker so it is not a sign of being Hoya! no so when he's about to come in the morning no and even the moon will hide so the more the problems are children and so you find yourself it is a sign that is sure they are going through time so the more the airplane you go into the clouds and also it is shaking with it it is a sign that the plane is moving is flying it is a sign that is heading forward until the one to sit down the clouds and tell people now you can settle. We are now in a very right atmosphere. Yes, Praise the Lord Jesus. Imana. So God will take the times to come and then we will call them that had happened. Imana. God will call for the time to come and makes them to happen. God will take the times to come and try them for the time of today. God will take the time of being restoration of eternity and then he will pull it and then he will make people to test it today. God will take time without death and then he will take away the death of today. I have facts. In the book of John 11, 
23. You know that story very well. Is a story of Lazarus. Jesus came to Lazarus. And when they sent for him, Lazarus was dead. So when Martha saw him, they had this conversation. They had this conversation with Martha. On 23, Jesus said to her, your brother will rise again. And Martha said, do not tell me about the past times. Yes, I know the times of eternity are coming. So how come you compare it with the pain I have I know very well he will resurrect. <laughs> And Jesus said, you don't know what has happened, Master. Don't you, don't you know that I would rise again? Don't you know that I would take the resurrection of our eternity and I bring it to death right now? So I'm talking about the resurrection of your whole life family. It is not the resurrection of 1 Thessalonians 4. So God will take the Thessalonians and to John. He will take the resurrection of eternity and brings it to your death. He will bring the resurrection of love to the time to come and bring it to the death of the God will take the times to come and call them to happen in your life. I'm talking about the resurrection of your life. The resurrection of your lifestyle. No, it will not wait for the time of resurrection. It will not wait for the time of Jesus is coming back. Because the word of the Lord Jesus is here. So this is what Martha didn't know about. But tell me about the coming resurrection. Yes, Jesus do not mix up things here. But she did know that he's the one who exchanges time. And then he takes from the past. And then he makes you to test it. May the Lord God make you test your promises. May the Lord God so did you know that the wedding the joy of a man and a woman the eternity of her is a sample of the joy of eternity so God took that sample and then he brought it he said now test it and hear how it tastes so you may miss heaven and that's why the devil and there is where he has put all his strong weapons on the test of heaven. May the Lord God make you test the joy that I have kept for you. May the Lord God make you test Martha didn't know about it. That, that Jesus had come to make them test the power of heaven. Praise the Lord God. Praise the Lord God. So let him test your ma his masses. Let him change your life. May God make you test his masses. And also give you a new life. May God make test you his love. And then create new friends for you. Let the Lord God make you test good life and bring closer your promises that you may miss the promised land. So you need some motivation. You need some motivation that will make you to miss the short the You need some motivation that will make you to miss the days to come because you are on battle and the power of any soldier is having a morale. When a soldier loses their morale, then they fail on the battle. So there is something new that God wants to do in your life. That you can be joyful once more. 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 You can be joyful once Praise the Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm. 
Martha said to him, I know he will rise again in the resurrection of the last day. Yes, I'm not to why are you? Jesus said to her, no. I am the resurrection and the life. I am the one the days are talking about. All that was telling me was talking about me. Oh, I'm the one who was prophesied. So now get to know that the days are close and time. So you must get to understand the one you're living with. And no, do not mix up the prophecy. I am about prophecy. I am the resurrection. I am the resurrection. And life. So whoever believes in me. So, so they die. So they can auction their property. Oh, the one who believes in me. So life is finished with them. The one who believes in me. So they have not liked you. Oh, the one who believes in me. So they are rejected. The one who believes in me. So they are barren. The one who believes in me. So they are single. They are just the one who believes in me. So they are in the grave. And they are there under four days. Yes, they can live. Again. They can live again. I can change things to be new. So who is believing in God? It's the night who is believing in God. And they believe God to build their home. And they believe God to build their part of land. And they believe God for greatness. So there is no far place God cannot take us out. There is a promise tonight to, to get out of the plot of death. There is a promise tonight that is going to take you out of that plot of death. There is a promise tonight that though man is dead and remember very well in Psalms 115 that they are alive, the people who are alive that they want so meaning that and the one who doesn't have the one who doesn't have what? God needs your praises. If you don't have praises, you are in death. So you no longer have any praise. So now the things are becoming so few few. And the good words you've been told you were not satisfied. That is in Job 15. So you no longer have any praise. Are the praises over by now? You're like one going down into the pit. And you're starting to be overwhelmed by the time. God wants to make something new. So that the, the, the stairs you came down. When you're going down to death. And then you're going to go up. Finding life. So the steps you went down. Yes, now you're now going when your back is bent. We know you when you're a person having relations with others. And now the wounds are making you calm down. So now go back on the stairs. You went down. May the Lord God give you a praise. May God create a new testimony. That you may go on the list of those who are living. That I always praising God. And say that God I praise you. That you did not allow the enemy. That I praise you. That you took death away from my life. That you have given me new life. The sign of somebody coming out of death When you're coming out of a coma All things will be new to you, right? They even teach you how to walk You start walking, they try to take you kinotherapy Yet you are 43 years They start teaching you how to walk So there are things which are becoming new 
There are things which are going to become new to your life. Because you're coming out of death. God is giving you a new start of life. A new start of your business. And start from the slower thing you Just be like a baby who is starting to learn to walk. As though you were a great business person. Accept that new beginning that is coming to you. Yet small. So the start of man can be very small. If I want it can be new. And in the end. They will have profit and benefit. Because of the times of the comma. God is starting up something new. God is starting something new. I can see God starting something new in your life. God is starting up something new in your life. That is in Deuteronomy. Chapter Deuteronomy. Chapter 1. Verse 1. Verse 1. That is in Deuteronomy. Chapter 1. Let's first start the call. Deuteronomy. Kumurongo wa hawa ambere nuwa kaviri nuwa gata tu. Ngoma ze. Tula hii nuchira. Tuja mubu tayu. Tucha mubuzira. Ija kunyanja itukura. Ukuwite kaya negezi. Tuze mburu kumusazi wa sayiri. Iji hechire chire. Uwite kaya mgrati. Iji mgaze mburu chie. Uyu musazi chira hajije. Ni muchamike. Mujende ngerecheze ikasikas. That is in the tronomy. Tanjilorisha. That is a new start. Mujende chezo jisha. And in a new direction. Ngerecheze. That you take position. Ikasikas. And go in the east. Uvekuru wa musos. Get out of that mountain. Wakuize nguru. That mountain of just coming around yourself. Ahanuize nguru chie. The place where you're just turning around yourself. If you cannot change your direction, even the government will not change. God is giving you a new direction. I'm talking about a new direction. You're coming out of that mountain of going around yourself and then enter into a new direction of life. You're coming out of that mountain of surrounding yourself. That mountain of sail. And going to, going to the east. In the direction God has commanded. God wants to create a new direction. A direction of your daughter. A direction of your son. A direction of your generation. A direction of your calling. A direction of your life. And it's new. New in it time. It is new with time. New in time. It is new in time. God is making all things new. God is making all things new. Be prepared for a change in life. Be prepared for a full change. Be prepared for a full package of change. You mother. Be prepared for a full change. Do not just put promises before God. Just bear up the prophecy. Let me remind you that all things are not written or all things are not prophesied and times he remains with something with himself and the one who says I've just created it right now so God does not give you everything some of the things will remain with them so do not stay Wait for God in promises and prophecies. Yes, we say this is prophecy. So do not wait God in promises and prophecies. Just open your heart. Martha, open your heart. Because Lazarus will resurrect. He's not going to wait for the time of resurrection. He will take what is to come. And he will cause it to happen. You tell what is promised and call it that has happened. He will take the things to come and will take out a picture of today. <laughs> Do not 
So it is so hard for God to wait and see for your time to come. God needs your picture when you are in your joy. He can't wait. He can't wait for the time of eternity of your life to come. He just wants to see you in this moment. God needed a picture that will show how a man or woman can give out their children. And so now he seeked a place where to take this picture. And he found that there was no any other place apart from Abraham. Abraham, Abraham and he said, Abraham, where is your young son? Please prepare him. And then you come early in the nation of Moriah and then sacrifice him as a sacrifice for me. So Abraham woke up early in the morning and he saw he prepared all his donkeys and he prepared the altars and the servants and so they accompanied them so when they got close to the mountain where God has instructed him and he said leave the servants behind and go up with Isaac and so they went ahead Isaac asked the father Abraham he said, Father, you can see everything well set. So where is the sacrifice? He said, God needs a picture here, my son. There is a kind of picture God needs here, my son. So he will provide. He is going to provide my son. Just accept to go in that direction. There is no death in that direction. Accept what God has told you. Accept what the man your husband has told you. There is no problem you will encounter there. Just God needs that picture. So Abraham had faith in God. And so he went up on the mountain. He prepared the altar. And and he prepared the firewood. And so he tightened up his son. And he just brought out his sword. When we are about to cut him, he heard a voice behind him saying, Abraham, already the photographer has taken the photo. Hallelujah. So it was this kind of photo that was showing that that a man that where God will sacrifice Jesus that God would give on his only begotten son and so he sought a way of to test the field. So God is testing the joy to come so he's wanting to create something new. A sinner will project what is to come. So there are things that should live less than that. Sima. There is a kind of life that should stand Moda. in for heaven right Sima. now. There is a life today that, that should symbolize eternity. And that's why the people who are going to heaven are the people heaven is already <laughs> dwelling in them. My God. The people to go in heaven are the people already heaven embraces and heaven dwells and sits in them. Christ, Christ, and and Jesus Christ dwells and sits in them. And God in life sits in them. And then they will test and so the Bible continues to say that now if we are tested and how the way our Lord God is good and now come closer to him come closer to the Lord Jesus and get out of testing the Lord Jesus and now come into the fullness of your joy and all he's making them new all things he's making them new all Things. Yes. All things. Yes. All things are repeat. New in time. They are making them new. New in time. New in time. Neos. And so Peter said. The the past time. It was enough. To do what the pagans loved. But now, they are so amazed how we are not corrupted. What happened? Time changed. 
Imana irashaka kuremesha ibintu bishya ikoresheje igihe. God wants to create new times by the use of time. Yesho nzababwira new in nature. And then Thursday I'll be talking about new in nature. Harije Yesu yasanga izina rya rafashe muri society. There are times when the Lord Jesus will find a name that has been called the society. Izina rya rafashe abantu bose barime. All people know about it. Kana akasanga riri hafi kujya kundanga muntu. And even about to be on your identity card. Akasaka si izina ryo muri karitsiye gusa na nanida iri hafi kuri menya. And then he finds his not a societal name but even Nida is about to know about it. Izina ingumba gasanga riri hafi kujya kundanga mu menya. The name the baron is about to be written in your identity card. Ibyo nabyo ibyo nabyo. Also that. Biri mu biza guhindura. It is among the things to be changed. Ngoma kubona izina risha. You must have a new name. Utigeze wumva na ba. That you have never heard with people. President of Korea ya majaruguru. The president of Northern Korea. He has given this decree. Konham umukobwa we atagomba kwitira nta muturage ugomba kwita umwana we izina isanke ry'umukobwa we. That no citizen should ever and ever call the same name their child as his daughter. Man ashaka kuguhisina risha. So God wants utazahuza na benshi. That is not going to resemble other people's names. Bazaburi kibihuza. They will not find a way how to combine it. So can a person call themselves Moses? Yet Moses means the one taken out of the water. Now if you're from the land, how are you going to be called Moses? So the reason name you are not going to share with men. This is the name that is bringing God down. On Sunday, I will tell you the time man will start fighting a battle when they have a name. Because so many of you are fighting battles without a name. So now if the Bible was to write about you, it would call you someone. Now stand up and we pray. He will text what will happen and makes it to, and calls it to happen. That he is the one who changes the time. The, the one sitting on the throne. The one who changes the time. The one who leaves behind the time. The one who is never ruled by times. And he says that. That behold. All things. I'll make them new. And. And. Do not fatikaramu ngubijani. So, do not confuse it. Take a pen and write. Mami yes. Lord Jesus. Simbi se nyelango bibe. I'm not praying for it to happen. Because you're the one who makes it to happen. But then I'm praying for the one receiving the word. That there should come up, up, up root up hands of faith. That they should receive the new times. Where the new times have come. So the new system also changes. This is where the new life will come up. This is where the new lifestyle comes up. I thank you for you have remembered me too. And you have changed my times. That also the new the, the workings may change. Praise Amen. and honor belongs unto you, Lord Jesus. May the Lord God bless you. May He be good to you. We shall meet here again on Thursday. But tomorrow we still kitabu. having the morning devotion prayers and also the lunch hour. You are not yet saved. Make a step forward. You are not yet saved. Do not go home. The king and the lord of times. This is your time of a salvation. Come and let the lord Jesus change your life. Come let the lord Jesus change your times. That you may see new things on time. Amen. Amen. Abadukurikiye online na ushobora kwakira Yesu umwami n'umukiza cyangwa kuri radio authentic na TV O. For those following us online or TV or radio or 
You can also repeat after these words and you receive the Lord Jesus. And say, Lord Jesus, I have heard your word and has assured my heart. And today, I take this decision to follow you, Lord. I take the decision to believe in you. The word has told us that those who are in Jesus Christ they are new creatures and the former things are not remembered. And today you're creating new seasons and times together with your salvation. Come and take my name out of the book of death and write it in the book of life. I am yours, Lord. I come and make me new in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. May God bless you. And may He do good to you.